book of Exodus, the 15th chapter, beginning at the ninth verse. When the horses of Pharaoh with his chariots and his chariot drivers went into the sea, the Lord brought back the waters of the sea upon them. But the Israelites walked through the sea on dry ground. When the prophet Miriam, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women went out after her with tambourines and with dancing. And Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. Then they came to Elam, where there were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees. And they camped there by the water. Here ends the first reading.
the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, the fourth chapter, beginning at the fourth verse. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. Here ends the second reading.
I believe in God, the Father Amen. Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified. He descended into hell.
believe that it was 10 years ago this autumn that Fright's Wide Voices started its life singing in Worcester College. It's an absolute delight to see so many people here tonight who were associated with the choir at the beginning, particularly some of those whose idea it was to set up this choir. Not the first choir for girls in Oxford, but the first girls choir to sing liturgical music in college spaces just as some of the brothers of some of the first Fried's White choristers were singing in the choral foundations. It's a particular joy that our first director, Will Dawes, is with us this evening, um, lurking on the back row among the bases. At the beginning, the choir was absolutely dependent on the generosity of the, those whose original vision it was, the first trustees, parents, of the girls and also a number of grandparents who gave us the things we needed to get the choir going. Some cassocks and surplices and folders for the music and buying some music so that the girls could start to build their own repertoire. Over the first years we applied for and were successful in obtaining some money from some charitable trusts. The Oosley Foundation gave us a significant amount of money and so did a university trust called the Van Houten Fund and there's one major national charity of which the um, chair of trustees gave us an independent large donation, which I know that he would still wish me to keep anonymous, but I acknowledge his, their support very much. At the beginning, we were in Worcester, thanks to the then chaplain at, at Worcester, Jonathan Arnold, who's now at Canterbury. And at the beginning, we sang, they sang mostly in Worcester and sometimes in other college chapels, including in Christchurch. But thanks to Will Dawes's energy and connections with the directors of music at the other choral foundations, after a couple of years, we established a pattern of peregrinating between the choral foundations. So the girls sang here in Michaelmas term, at New College in the spring Hillary term, and then at Magdalen in Trinity term. But Stephen Graal's arrival in 2018 made it possible to open a conversation first in chapter and then in governing body about whether it would be possible for Christchurch to adopt Fry's Wife Voices. And I'm enormously proud of the part that I played in seeing that paper through um, governing body, through chapter and then through governing body. It is the only document ever presented to the go governing body of this august institution, which has a footnote which refers to urban dictionary in order that I might explain what a Zudi is. If you don't know, ask one of the choristers afterwards. It's been wonderful to make Fried's Ride part of this foundation and at the point at which they, they moved here, and Will Dawes needed to step back and we were delighted to appoint Helen as director of music here. It's, I've taken so much pleasure in watching generations of girls grow in their time in the choir, in maturity and self-confidence, in musicianship and above all in singing. One of the things I most enjoy is the way the girls walk through the college, of which they manifestly feel themselves to be part. I'm also proud, if, if I'm allowed to say on a personal note, that with the boys, the girls sang at my installation as the first female dean in Christchurch. And though I hate being described as a role model, I'm delighted to be a role model for you and to suggest that should you want to, this is something that you could do too. 
May I invite all the former members of Brides Wide Voices, the staff, those who've been connected with it, anybody who's here and is able, please to stand. Oh, praise the Lord, for it is a good thing to sing praises unto our God. Yea, joyful and pleasant thing it is to be thankful. O oh God and King, whom saints and angels praise in the music of heaven, we give you thanks and praise for Fried's Wide Voices and for all who as part of that choir have praised you on earth. We thank you for your gifts of music, of beauty and of grace revealed to us in their song and for your gifts of friendship, fellowship and love revealed to us in their companionship as ministers in this place. Grant to all who gather here that through the glory of their music we may glimpse something of your perfect beauty and be strengthened in our, in our service through your, your Son, the great musician, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh, praise the Lord, O oh, ye servants of the Lord. O oh, praise the Lord. O oh, sing praises unto his name. God of all, whose wisdom fashioned all creation in harmony to sing the music of your praise. Bless all the members of Fried's Wide Voices who sing, conduct, play, teach, and support in this place. Give them joy in their talents, growth in their understanding, and fulfillment in their fellowship with one another, that in their song we may hear on this earth the echo of the music of heaven, and in their fellowship, we may see an image of the life of your people through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray. Words from the prophet repeated in our anthem. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Who are we, Lord, that we should speak before you, that we should sing and pray and read your words. You are from everlasting, the creator of all. We are like a breath that passes, like dust, ashes, clay. Yet you have made us in your image and given us speech and knowledge to praise you. We thank you for the sheer abundance of your gifts and for your holy promise that the earth shall be filled with your glory as the waters cover the sea. Make us instruments of your will, and through us, make your glory known. Amen. In our first lesson, the prophet Miriam, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women went out after her with tambourines and with dancing. Then they came to Elim, where there were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees. As we recall the triumph and joy of those holy women, we continue to give thanks for Freinswein voices, and we pray that you would inspire many by their example to take up instruments and lift up their voices with joy. O God, victor over Pharaoh, conqueror of the sea, you are the inspirer of holy deeds and songs 
and also our rest forever. Raise up new witnesses to your saving power, giving them the gift of music. By your victory, fill their hearts with joy to laugh and sing and dance, and at the end bring us all to that place of rest where your living springs and the shade of your presence never depart, but shall refresh and sustain us evermore. Through Christ the Lord. Amen. We heard St. Paul's words in the letter to the Philippians. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. As this service draws to a close, we offer to God the thoughts of our hearts and our prayers for all in need. God of strength and peace, you know our hearts, our thoughts, our intentions and wills, and the whole world lies open before you. As we give thanks tonight, knowing that you hear us, we lay before you our worries and pray that your peace would guard us and all people in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. We gather up all these prayers in the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.
May the Lord of glory, whom we have worshipped in this place, remain with us in the days ahead, that all our words may join the songs of heaven and all our deeds be acts of praise. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you and all those for whom you have prayed this night and always.